Okay, so we're gonna add some of the tassels on next. And um, I stuck with green, a monochromatic color scheme. I have different textures. We have a variety of color, some of the different values here. We have metallics, um, I have white, and then I have this cord rope, which I frayed uh, on the ends. And all you'd want to do, and I'm not going to tell you how, what size to cut the rope to because you want different sizes. So I'm going to actually start, I started right below this knot here directly underneath because that's where we're going to hang it. And I want a lot of fullness there. So I actually made it, I folded the yarn in half and I pushed it through. So I have a little loop here. And I am going to put the yarn through the loop. It was a little more difficult because I had already frayed the ends of the cord. So here I have some of the frayed pieces, which adds a little texture and volume towards the top. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna add some feathers. Now I'm at my house, so I had to borrow some of my daughter's beads. So these don't exactly go, but that's okay. And I'm gonna twist the yarn and I can put it through a bead. Now some of the beads that you'll see, you won't be able to use just because they are, uh, the holes are a little too small. So again, I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna hold it and pull it through. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, and I can have these at different levels. This one I put up about halfway. Remember we want the, all that fullness. So you're gonna have some Kind of halfway up and then some at the bottom if you want so i'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end of my feather a little bit of hot glue watch your fingers and then i'm going to take that and actually put it inside the end of the bead now the other way you can keep the beads from falling off is of course tie a knot you need to have that knot big enough i like the feathers because i think they're really pretty